Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So I have completed my second entry into the Brow Scale group build or build off. Uh, thanks again Chris for running this. As you know I was making up the Mark 1 Mar British tank which had got the special modification for the Gaza Strip. I'm not sure why they made that modification. Um, I'll have to try and do some research but uh, I couldn't find anything from my initial look on the internet. <clears throat> so after the first overwhelming success of the use of tanks on the Western Front in September 1916, the decision was made to use tanks in other theatres of operations. There were supposed to be 12 new version Mark II tanks delivered to this theatre and were to be sent by the sea to the Middle East to strengthen the Egyptian expeditionary forces that acted against the Turkish forces in Palestine. A mistake was made and eight older Mark I tanks from the Bovington Tank School were sent instead. They arrived in January 1917 but were not used until April, the Second Battle of Gaza. Despite expectations, the Turkish soldiers who have already received information about the new British weapons from their German allies did not run when the tanks appeared. They opposed them quite effectively by using their artillery and other means. It was feared that adverse conditions in this theatre would have a huge impact on the effectiveness of these tanks. During a mock battle, these tanks and their crews proved that they could operate effectively under any conditions. However, despite the relatively modest results, the experience gained in these battles furthered the usefulness of the tank. So, I shall get the kit and we'll have a look at it together. So here she is guys, um, I finished this tank as uh, HMLS. So Archibald, HMLS stands for His Majesty's Landship, So Archibald. Um, I've already mentioned the issues with the kit when I broke um, three of the items, the two girders on the, the top there and one other item that's uh, not on this build. So basically Master Box, uh, the colour call out for this was Vallejo's car key which is 988 so buoyed with my um, success of thinning model colour paints I thinned the car key that I got and uh, airbrushed this once that was uh, that was on top of a black primer sorry once that was dry I airbrushed um, clear pledge floor polish on the build and once that was dry put the decals on there was only two decals decals anyway i then did some shading i um added some buff to the khaki to get a lighter khaki color and dabbed that on with a paintbrush on the um, insides of each of the panels where i could I then used some of uh, Games Workshop's Reutland Flesh Shade to do a pin wash around the panel lines, um, which you can see at some locations better than others. I painted the tracks the bolt gun metal that I'd got, and when that was dry, I gave it a wash of Norn Oil, glass Norn Oil. When that was dry, I thought that the tracks were too shiny, and so I gave it a wash of uh, normal, normal oil. And once all those parts were dry, I then basically threw a load of um, sand pigment on, on the build and used a brush to, to get it off. Now, I don't often use um, pigments um, to do weathering on my stuff. As you know, my uh, builds tend to be quite clean as per the Rolls Royce but um, I wanted to have a go and having done the Meng um, Tiger P and basically saying I was just having fun I decided I was just going to have some fun and I was going to try the pigments out so I brushed the sand on and then tried to remove it as best I could where I didn't want it it wasn't, um, wasn't moving particularly far from, from where I put it. So what I did was I wetted the brush and um, 
basically painted it off. Um, that was a little bit scary on occasions because it was it was basically painting the uh, the build as opposed to coming away. So then I quickly got a Q-tip and I was rubbing it off with the Q-tip and um, that worked. You can see on this um, near side sponson on the roof there that I was able to blend it a bit towards away from the tank, away from the track and uh, so that worked quite well. Um, prior to that I had done some chipping uh, with the, um, the lighter car key, I'd done some patches around the tank, then in some of the bigger patches I managed to find my um, German camouflage brown and so I put some um, brown within the centre of those uh, larger pale areas and then in some of those brown patches I put a dot of uh, bolt gun metal to um, to give an impression that the whatever had hit the tank had actually gone down to the metal as opposed to just the primer. So my second build finished and I'm already preparing to do a third build for this uh, for this group build and that will be a video that will be up soon. Um, thank you guys for all your support and uh, kind comments when I showed you the uh, the kit as it was built and you know I mentioned that there was damaged parts and some of you said that you couldn't actually see it which which I appreciated. I did try my best to try and um, fix them so that, they, that you wouldn't see that. Um, I hope all your builds are going well and you're having a good week. Stay safe and I'll catch up with you soon.